you still have any questions. Yes. Um, last time I was here, um, it was after we were finished the first book of Revelation. I said something about something about how it felt to me <clears throat> felt like you may have to change it. And then you said something about that you may have to change it. And but I don't remember exactly because it was so much then. Mm -hmm. But I wanted you to elaborate on that. The situation in your life that you're you want to change. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. It's important to discern where you are coming from in your uh, intention to change a certain situation whether you are coming from love or whether you're coming from the person. When you are coming from the person, meaning from the mind, meaning from the sense of being a person in a world, being a personal mind living in a world, your perception is blurred there isn't the clarity and uh, there isn't the peace that where where from your intention is arising so it's important to reach a decision from a place of peace decision in what course of action or what needs to change and the entire decision to to follow with the with the action it has to come from peace or it has to come from an instantaneous call from beyond there can be sometimes a decision or decisions that you find them sort of taking place of their own in a way as if there is no choice it's 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 there is an absence of the mind in such decisions it's what I, there's nothing I can do about it. I've got to go to the light. I've got to go in that direction. I've got to stop this relationship. I've got to uh, take on take this trip. Of in in those cases, really, there is in a way no decision. It's a it's a decision that has that has been made for you. <laughs> But when you are contemplating making your own decision, when you are sort of contemplating the pros and the cons and the alternatives and so on, it's important that you uh, you make a decision out of a place of peace and out of an intention that is a win-win for everybody as, as much as possible. Win-win for everybody doesn't necessarily mean to satisfy everybody's wishes or everybody's des 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 des
the site. It might be to uh, maybe take on a course of action that might at that time seem not desirable by certain parties. But in the long run, it will turn out for everybody's good and everybody's win-win. Because you are coming from a decision that's embracing everybody and not just you. there might be some more specific, specific specificity and more detail to your question that we might need to go into you know to the other so the decision has to come from the happiness, from the love, not from a contracted uh, place of fear or future projections that are, that are not based in, uh, on any The, the sense of, of self, of self, of separate self, the, the limitation of the mind, this limited mind, it lives in a contracted condition. It's contracted because it, of the sense of limitation and bodily identification. So it lives in unhappiness. And it, the decisions that it makes are from its unhappiness. It perceives its happiness to be a result of its actions. And so it traces a course of action that is sourced in, in the unhappiness and the fear and the concern. And in doing so, it believes that it is going in the correct direction, while all what it's doing is maintaining its crouched position, maintaining its it's, it's fear and it's concern. So, in a way, the contemplation has to be pre-action, pre-decision, as much as possible. Sometimes you have no choice. You have to take a decision. And when there is no choice and you have to make a decision, you do your best. You do your best. You just you look at it you, as best you can, given the limitations of whatever limitations there are on your your, your decision, and you make your best decision. But once you make your dis your decision, then you let go of the result. Whichever way it's gonna go, you're fine with it because you've done your best. But when you have time to contemplate, then you take your time and you contemplate the source of your, of your reasoning. 
And if the source of your reasoning is to maintain your person safe, you need to continue to contemplate before you decide what course to do, what course of action to take. It's best not to make any decision if you have a choice. Not to make any decision, but to make the decision out of the sense of separation. So Another way of looking at it is be open and follow the happiness for everybody. You can use happiness as your guide, not the concern of the field. Use the happiness as your guide. So, the calculating mind, the limited mind of self-identity, puts its own happiness above everybody else. And that's why it's unhappy. Because it separates itself from the whole. But when you put everybody's happiness, combine it with yours, you're taking a, a, a broader And, and you're not feeding the separate self, which is the source of your misery. Francis often says, pose the question, what would universal consciousness do? What would I, as universal consciousness, what course of action would I, as universal consciousness, take? Yes, yes. Because uh, the further we go down the road of the mind, of the separate self, the more uh, isolated it is, and the deeper the despair. It's a habit. You have to take courage and trust. And take uh, a newer direction that that is a broader has a broader outlook 